Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ice Cap. So today we are checking out the pure version of Judas. This guy's kind of interesting. We start with Acts of Contrition as well as the New Testament, which is kind of an interesting item for us here. I'll kind of show it off as we go into this room here. If we pop it, we get a little soul following us, but we get like flight, seraphim, uh, sort of style looking thing with Godhead as we come into this room. We get, I, if you look at our items, it's Fate and Godhead. I think we only get him for a room, but we do get a little uh, follower, little eyes Judas thing in the room and that can take damage for us so um, it's kind of interesting I like the idea behind it um, it seems like we're just basically gonna be sort of similar to regular Judas it doesn't seem like our stats are quite good in terms of our damage and stuff but our health is kind of similar we do start with one extra black heart uh, but this is like I'm, I'm noticing the pure characters oh wow I'm taking some bad damage here the pure characters are definitely like more on the vanilla scale of things in terms of modded characters they're not super super wild Dude, I'm gonna die really quick here. Um, they're not super wild or anything. They uh, they're pretty normal and just have like a cool little quirk here and there. Um, but I quite like that. It's nice to have some characters that are sort of a bit more in line with uh, with what vanilla's like. I do prefer some to see creative characters, but obviously they take a lot more effort. And um, you just got to think of a unique idea, which honestly nowadays is so hard. So many things have already been done that finding something that is truly unique is not easy anymore. Um, but this is interesting. This is interesting. We have like sort of the idea of turning ourselves from the Judas that is kind of evil or like corrupted um and becoming a judas that has been redeemed um and we can use the new testament to become an angel and that's gonna be really really nice on bosses actually just being able to spawn godhead especially while we've got lower damage item room first one is gonna be excuse me lemon miss what a throwable i've never seen this before a throwable lemon mishap that is a uh, an intriguing idea. And yeah, I, I don't know how I've never seen this item come up before. This is uh, completely new to me. As for the question of the day, what was your last meal and how was it? I like to ask this every now and again. I'm a big foodie myself, so I'm always interested to hear what people have been eating. Um, I had a bacon and egg sandwich with rocket and mayo. It was very, very nice. So we'll pop this. And yeah, then... We absolutely slam a boss with it. Very, very nice. This is going to make us quite, quite strong for uh, for the early game for bosses. Divorce papers, really, really nice here as well. I guess I'll grab that to the next floor. But yeah, I, I, I read in the description, I kind of thought the little blue ghost that we get there would persist with us through rooms, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Um, oh, hello. Why can't I use that? Ah, oh, because I don't have money. Yeah, fool. Wait, can I do this? Yeah. There you go. I think that's much better off for, uh, for, for our survival rates. I think we're a much better chance of surviving setting it up like that. Okay, this is definitely a secret room. If you get an explosive enemy in a room, uh, it's most likely going to be a um, secret room. So, really, that didn't blow this up? Oh, okay, maybe it's not a secret room then. Hmm. I thought it was. I really thought it was. Throwable Lemon Mishap. Honestly, I feel like Lemon Mishap should just be throwable anyways now. Thinking about it. It would be so much better. Although then it'd have to be... I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like Lemon Mishap should just be an active, uh, an active item. A throwable item. That seems way, way better. Having it not be throwable just seems weird. And then just like rebrand the existing one as like an on-hit effect rather than... Although there's still like, there's already like milk and stuff that do similar stuff, so it's not exactly necessary, but I don't know. It just seems weird to have them both in the game. I know one of them's modded in this case, so that's kind of why. But uh, yeah, it seems like Lemon Mishap being so bad could do more with it. But Edmund did recently put out something on Twitter with an AMA talking about the upcoming patch at the start of November or mid-November, whatever it's coming out. The one that's going to add multiplayer to the game. Someone asked about if they're going to be uh, buffing weak items and he confirmed that the, there's going to be quite a lot of buffs. So I'm really excited to see what they end up doing, um, see which items change and stuff. There's a lot they could do. Um, there's also going to be a little video coming out a little bit shortly. Um that you guys will see uh, that goes over some potential buffs for some weaker items. Um, I got hit a lot there on my little ghosty dude. A lot on a lot. I wasn't paying attention to the fact that 
my damage is dealt through him. Um, sharp items can be fair, just even unaffordable. Um, drops a credit card on pickup. I will take it. The credit card's really nice for a future devil deal or whatnot. That devil deal wasn't the best for us there. We do also almost have enough to grab ourselves something from the shop, so I'm going to whip back round and do that. But yeah, at the minute, I'm in the uh, process of backlogging videos once again. Do you know what? I'll just try and get it through this means first. Ooh, that's rather nice. Uh, I'm in the process of backlogging videos again right now. As you guys remember, recently I was on holiday in Greece. I backlogged quite a bit ahead of that. Um, and once again, I am... Uh... Ooh, very nice. Uh, once again, I am taking some time off actually just to play Call of Duty I'll be honest but uh, taking some time off and so I want to backlog a bunch of videos so that I can make the most of that time I've not even seen my item room yet I just realized um, we've also got a big shopkeeper there as well which is kind of cool uh, da -da -da -da. both of these are pretty good I'm, I'm gonna do this because honestly this is a pretty good room and we could get a key here yeah that's exactly what I was hoping for I'm gonna try and come back to you, shopkeeper, because I've got I've got big plans for you. Yeah, fanny pack, pretty decent. Uh, the the B shot item, pretty decent as well. Oh, that was really stupid, but I got a key out of it, so it was completely on purpose. Good, good. Ah, oh my god, dude! Landed directly on me, really. Really, boy? Right, what we got going on here? All of that effort and you give me dead bird? Why? Pourquoi? Right, okay. So, let's head on back through over here. I've got a little bit of an idea of how we can make this work. It might not work the way I want it to, but I've got an idea. Right, so first of all, let's use a key here. Grab that. Bomb you once. Bomb you twice. And then we start refreshing the shop. And we look for sacks and bombs. Of which, currently, we're not really getting any bombs. Oh, come on, sack. That, okay. We're just looking for bombs now. Dude. Okay, cheap sacks, I'll go for. But what the hell's going on right now? Okay. We, we, we managed it. We managed it. And there's Steam Sale. Not bad, not bad. I will buy that. I will buy that. And I will buy that. Okay, pretty happy with how that went, to be honest. Pretty happy with how that went. Let's go. Um, this item we just got, the bat the like leaky battery, battery acid, doubles active item charge is basically going to mean that with a two-room active cost, we're going to be able to use this quite often. It is going to mess with our New Testaments uh, active a little bit on occasion, because um, every 15 seconds it'll decharge our active by one pip, which certainly, as you can just see, makes it a little harder to use, but the double active charge is really nice. I kind of took it just because I want to use my uh, Thoroughbull Lemon Mishap a little more often, but probably not really that worthwhile, is it? But we should be able to use our New Testament a bit more often. We just got to remember how it works. The fact that when we use it, um, if our soul gets hit, we get hit. Because I need to be just taking advantage of that a bit more often. Be a bit more aware. Oh my lord. Hello guys, do you want to throw any more bombs? Hot diggity damn. I can't remember what these guys do once they've thrown everything about. You guys still deadly at all? You're just kind of chilling. I think they're just kind of chilling, to be honest. Ooh, nice. Another item room. Let's go. Little brimstones. Not bad, not bad. See, there's our decharge. So, it's, it's, it's a positive and a negative. I think overall, it's normally a pretty positive thing. It's just, it's, it's pr a pretty big negative if you're someone that likes to take your time. But I'm not really, so it, it shouldn't bother me that much. It makes the sound like I've hurt myself, but I don't actually take any damage when I do that. Although I did take damage there for some reason. I'm not quite sure what I took damage to. Okay, that, that lemon mishap was uh, terribly misfired. Right, we go in here. Dude, these lemon mishaps, I'm missing them quite heavily right now. Ah, oh, dude. Don't get hit on the soul. I keep forgetting that. Okay, this, like, this New Testament thing is uh, 
It's tripping me up right now. I'm taking some damage that I'm not expecting to take. Uh, size up and damage and speed. 33% chance to create a portal to a random room after clearing a room. Or grant 10% chance for pickups to be doubled. Yeah, I'll take the double pickups. It's not amazing, but I'll take it. Right. To the next floor. Let's go. Oop, tainted treasure room's causing me some issues. That's weird. This is a pretty a pretty average run so far. Pretty average run. Ooh, yeah. Free access to this chest, which just gave us pills, unfortunately. X lax. At least we got Little Brim to help us out here. I think without Little Brim, we'd be struggling a little bit more. This guy's at least got some good damage for us. I want a different two room active. Give me Shoop the Whoop. Shoop the Whoop would be perfect right now. Chill, Mr. Hippity Hop. Chill. Right, so use this. I don't take any damage when I use it, I'm just checking. Try and take out all of these before they get poisonified. Oh my god! This guy left a ton of crap on the screen when he's dashing around. See, look there, though. Double charge from that room. We got our active back straight away. We can use it way more often. Ah, we got a very good heart here, so we can constantly regain that. We went in here because we do have 7 cent, which is exactly what we need for uh, buying an item with Steam Sale, so... Because we have that, we can take advantage. Unfortunately. Ah, the dude took the special penny off me. Yeah, yeah big biatch. Right, taking a few extra pennies. Taking this extra time, obviously, is going to decharge our active again, but... The double charges should mean that we can easily get back up there. It's just that situation there where I was going to use this right as I entered the room. And of course, it decharges right before we get to the room, so I can no longer do that. Most of the time, 50, every 15 seconds, you're going to be clearing a room. So it's overall a net positive. It's just the backtracking makes things a little more sketchy. Oh, God. Annoying room, this. Got you. Can we easily get you? There you go. Double bombs. Very nice. I'd like to get that. Do you know what? I think it's worth it to do this. Just, just to grab that. Like, need my health looking good all the time. Holy shit. Oh, there was creep on the floor there. God damn it. Item room. Ah, slippy tooth. I'm getting a little bit let down with the items I'm getting from item rooms at the minute. They've really... We've, we've not got anything that's been super, super good here. Dude, that lemon... I was saying about how good it is to throw it. It throws it so unbelievably far, though. Like, it, it doesn't, like, arc or anything. It's not, like, a short-distance throw. If, it, if it's got the space to launch across the entire room, it goddamn will. It's slightly annoying. Like, you got to really hit an enemy directly, otherwise you're going to lose it. Bad, bad damage here. I'm trying to save my active for the boss now, but it's not going to work that way, is it? Oh, dude. The damage I'm taking. It's not good. Look at that miss. It fired so fast. It fired so fast. Okay, that was better. Get something out of that, at least. There's the decharge on that. That's fine, though. We've only got a few more rooms to go. A distance like that. Oh, dude, come on now. Shouldn't have taken that damage there. Okay. And here we go. Pop that. Pop that. Don't think the lemon mishap really helps us at all there. That was a bit silly to use. So I, just, I just took damage there. I'm not entirely sure to what. We'll see if we live. We'll see if we live. Took damage again. Um, chain yourself to a random enemy with an astral chain and freeze them. The chain deals heavy contact damage to enemies. Going too far away will break the chain. Chained enemies have 33% chance to drop a soul heart when killed. Can chain bosses for 5 seconds. Ooh. 
Intriguing. Intriguing. Something I haven't used before, really. I've seen it plenty of times on runs, but it's an item that I've never really actually taken any notice of, I'll be honest. Right, okay. Right, one second. Right, let's keep this trainer going. What have I got this for? Oh, the birthday cake. Oh, dude, Soul of Andromeda. Oh, man. I mean, we got all those wisps. I don't mind that much, but Soul of Andromeda can give items. So whenever it doesn't, I'm always, like, a bit bummed out. Like, oh, you could have done it, game. You could have tried. Right, so let's try out this, uh, this, this thing, then. So it locks us to the enemy, freezes them in place. As they have a chance to drop a soul heart, and it did. It's a full soul heart as well. I was expecting it to be a half soul heart, so... Health-wise, this might be just the item we need. And there's our double drop there as well. Right, I think we got to be really, really careful when we're using our uh, active here. It seems that when I... If I hold fire for a long time and then let go of it... Yeah, like you see that. Watch, watch, watch. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. And then let go of it. Like, I didn't work that time. Yeah, I'm hurting... I'm, I need to check the, the Steam page here. Okay. Turns you into an immortal angel with godhead flight for one room, but also spawns a soul of Judas Familia that follows you around and works like Isaac's heart. Taking damage because of soul doesn't run your deal chance, even when you get hit on red hearts. Also, he has protection from enemy brimstones and explosions. Using an active the second time in the same room will only give half a soul heart. So, yeah, however I'm being hit is clearly not an interaction that's intended, I don't think, because it doesn't say anything about that. And I'm getting hit by my own tears or something, I don't even really know. It's confusing. Be really, really careful using the active, because I can lose health just so, so quickly. Luckily, I do have some red hearts to back me up, which is ideal. Oh, dude. This active is something that I've seen a bunch of times and never really given the time of day. I kind of wish that I'd uh, read it a little more closely, because it seems pretty goddamn good. So I'm just going to tap fire. I'm going to see if that helps me not accidentally hit myself. It seemed to help there. Also, with the double active charges, being able to get this active popping off way more often is really, really nice. Dude, we've, it's a 33% chance for a soul heart, and we're batting two for three right now, so we are well above average. Oh, God. Oh, I'm immortal, aren't I? Of course. Didn't take any damage there, and I was really confused as to why. Ah, I don't have flight. <laughs> I forgot that when I'm not the immortal angel, I don't have flight. It's because I just used flight in that last room. It threw me off a little bit there. No soul heart that time, sadly. Right, there you go. I do need to charge up to use my little brim, though. I'm, I'm wasting my little brim potential by tap firing. I think I only need to tap fire when I'm in this mode here. That does seem to have saved me thus far, though. I've not taken any uh, damage from my own tears or whatever the hell was happening since I started tap firing, so it's clearly doing something. Also, the fact that it like completely freezes the enemy is really, really nice with that. Oh, I lost all my wisps now. They're actually dealing a considerable amount of extra damage for us, so it is a little sad to see them go. Ooh, that's some good stuff. What's the occult one do again? Okay, rerolls pedestals. Right, okay, that is very, very nice. We can use the occult somewhere. I'll figure out where that might be. Might be here. You never know. Have a little see. No, it will not be here. Jacob's Ladder is an item I haven't seen in quite some time, but I'm very, very happy to see. Ooh, received two cards at the start of each floor. That's very, very nice. It's very, very nice indeed. Two cards at the start of every floor. Oh, baby. Kind of sweeping through the enemies right now. Need to use my active more often, my, my main active. Just try and get those soul hearts. That, that one was going to land over a gap, so I would have been a bit sad to have gotten it there. Oh, hello. Plenty of black hearts for us. Thank you. This might be our reroll opportunity here if the item we get isn't very good. 
Nope, it's Hurst Hat. It's very good. <laughs> the game is uh, highly rewarding us right now, so I'm not going to complain about that. Most certainly not. But yeah, I'm very, very ready to play some Black Ops 6. I know so many people probably hate Call of Duty nowadays, but I still really enjoy it, and I'm pretty good at it too. But saying that, if you are over 18 and wish to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6 with me, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I may just do that, because I'm always looking for people to play with. I find it fun interacting with viewers, but I also just find it fun playing games with people, so if anyone is someone that plays it or will be getting the new one, and you're over 18, Give me a message, and I will certainly, uh, I'll certainly jump on with you. What trinket is that? 30% chance to use a random card on damage. Oh, man. That, that is more interesting to me. In fact, in, no, 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 no. In fact, what is this called? Card Graveyard. That is a video of its own. We'll be, we'll be making a video on that pretty shortly. Card Graveyard. I'm not going to showcase it for now, but that is going to get a dedicated video because that's... Something Wicked always comes in clutch with the just amazingly fun items, and that is definitely one of them. Ha, you're frozen. Makes that life a lot easier. No soul heart though, sadly. Dude, Jacob's Ladder has uh, really changed this run around. I mean, obviously... Red Stew is helping out a ton right now, so it's hard to say it's just that, but it's definitely helping. Ah! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mystery meat. Thank you. Oh, this is an XL floor, so I'm missing an item room. Let me go back and see if I can find that. Soul Heart, no. Let's go back over here. I say I can't leave an item room unattended. That would be a tragedy. Ah, oh, I used the my New Testament thinking there'd be enemies in there and there wasn't. Preemptive. Ha, only one of your segments is locked in. And it gave us a Soul Heart as well. Lovely. Right, we got it. Belly button. Yeah, do you know what? Let's us carry two trinkets. Not a bad thing. Ugh. Torn card. A little bit sketchy, but it can be useful. Golden Bomb, rather nice. See, I'm, in, I'm a bit torn at the minute because Golden Bomb, really, really nice for getting ourselves some stuff, but not very good for keeping the damage bonus that we have from Red Stew if I want to go and find all my secret rooms and stuff, so... I'm a little torn on that right now. I think I'm just going to ignore the fact that I got a golden bomb and move on with my life for the most part, because I, I, I would really like to... Okay, I'll do that. Oh, yes, prank cookie. I say I would very much like to um, take advantage, but I really would like to keep my damage from Red Stew uh, kicking. But randomly getting a ghost baby that I rerolled into a prank cookie there... I'd say it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good usage of my golden bombs, because I definitely, even though my golden bombs weren't necessary, I had enough bombs, I definitely wouldn't have bombed the skulls if I didn't have them limited, so technically it provided me a pretty good advantage nonetheless. And yeah, we'll get some shots from Torn Card doing their thing every now and again here. I'll quickly check in here if there's anything god tier. There is not. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a Something Wicked video featuring Card Graveyard plus uh, Booster Box. Because those are two um, two items from Something Wicked, both of which trigger cards that you don't actually have. Which I, I really like the idea of. There was another card-related item that was triggering cards on here, wasn't there? I can't remember what it was. was it? I don't know if it was on here, actually, but... Oh, it was the... Um, it wasn't on hit. It was, like... It would spawn the last three cards used on the last floor on the next floor, wasn't it? I can't remember what item that was called now, but that was a pretty fun one. Also, this this floor was immaculate. Get frozen. Only for five seconds, though, but 
still. Five seconds in uh, Isaac is enough time to get stuff done. Some high tops there, nice. Don't know what rock that is. Perthrow. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, I will gamble on both of these fellas. And I'm very, very happy with my gamble, to be honest. <laughs> that was uh, very good. Very good indeed. Now I don't have to worry about Little Brim charging up as much either. I can just kind of get on with it. One second. Right, let's keep this moving. We did just get the Trinity Worm, which is a mess, but a fun mess. So I think I'm going to go for it. So just two chariot cards. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what I was looking for. But yeah, I really like the Trinity Worm. Yet another something wicked thing that I really enjoy. Honestly, for those of you that don't have something wicked, it is an unreleased mod. It is on my Discord, available for anyone to download. The developer has given me free, uh, free ability to advertise that to people if they want to join the Discord and try it out. It's probably my favorite item. Like, if if you're looking at mods that strictly add items only. It, um, or, or basically items only. There's a few other things in there, but um, it's, it's probably my favorite mod out there. It's it's so good, Co like content-wise. It just they also like feels so thematic, feels so like on theme for Isaac, but also like all are pretty unique, but not in a crazy way. Like I feel like stuff like electric dice, for example, one of my favorite items in the mod is just like car battery, but with a bit of difference to it, and I like that. It's it's nice to have something that's just like similar to some other stuff, but not exactly the same. And it's along the same vein as car batteries. Car batteries like a fun idea, but it's got a bit of difference to it. And one of the one of the things that I like about doing that is when you play modded Isaac. Uh, one of the issues is that vanilla items become a lot less common when you add in a lot of modded items, especially when you're adding more modded items than that are vanilla items. So finding car battery becomes that much rarer because there's so many new things in the shop. But now that there's another item that does something similar, not quite the same, but similar, it means that extra active effects is now something that I have a higher chance of finding amidst all the other modded items, which I really like. It's not something that's super, super rare. I need to stop using my uh, New Testament item, to be honest. It is getting me hit way too much. I don't really know what's going on. I think I just need to stop moving while I'm using it. It's confusing to me. Like, here, I can just... Keep firing this way. Keep it behind me. There you go. Health on this last push isn't the best, so let's try and keep it together. I'm hoping that our active item can pay it forward a little bit for us and allow us to have some good stuff. We've got quite a lot of keys, so this could be good. And money, that's good too. Oh, really, contraband? Although, actually saying it, I think I will take contraband to the next floor. As much as this item has been good to us, I think I'll take Contraband with me. Ooh. That's a good card for the boss. Yeah, I, th I think the thing that we're missing right now is that crazy damage bonus we had from um, Red Stew. Not having that is definitely making things a little harder on us. Are we done here? Yes, we are. So we should be near to the boss here. Considering we teleported to the super secret room. We're quite far away from the starting room. So I'd imagine we are going to... Uh... Oh, God. I imagine we are going to run into the boss. There you go. Very shortly. Right. Wow. That was a very, very good... Uh... Uh, fanny pack proc there. Okay. I realize I have invincibility, so I could just run it in, but I, the knife actually does more damage the further it is away from you, your character model, so it's useful to do that. Got a black heart there. And what is our contraband going to give us? A few beautiful items could go a long way. Not bad, not bad. 
Wow, that's a lot. Oh, dude, you just took my lead pencil, you absolute scab. How dare you? How dare he? Right, let my electricity get you all. Barely know what's going on right now. It's cool to see that my uh, my sprinkler also fires in the same pattern as me. That's fun. Having two of these guys in one room is kind of sketchy. I love the noise they make, the like electric glitchy noises. Honestly, don't know how I'm going to do on this last floor. I do not have a lot of health and I do not have a lot of confidence is the bigger thing. What's going on with Monstro 2? He's all sorts of glitchy. Monstro 2, are you alright? My straw man's almost dead. I think I do have a mod that makes straw man drop their items though. So we should get lead pencil back. There you are. Do I get my lead pencil? Yeah, I do. Good. I get my items back. One That's a, a really, really cool mod, by the way. It's literally just a mod that makes it so that straw man drops his items when he dies. But it's really good because it means, that for one, you don't waste items when he dies. But the bigger thing is it means he's a really useful item now because you could pick up a bunch of items with him, take him to a secret room and kill him and re-roll them. There's that, like... There's kind of a use for him. Do you know how kind of like the soul of Forgotten? You can spawn the Forgotten in and then use it to uh, easily get yourself a free seven players in a sack room. It's kind of like that. Or six players, I think it is. But still. Oh, dude, I don't know if we're going to make it to the end of this run, to be honest. I'm trying, but... I'm taking some damage I shouldn't be taking. What we got going on here? Furton. Kind of an interesting one to grab. Oh, God. It's firing at a weird angle because of the way we've got things set up. This is weird. Okay, we'll try the boss with uh, one heart and a dream. We'll see how it goes. Look at it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's really interesting the way we're firing right now. It is not normal. It's actually kind of hard to directly hit things that you want to hit, but hey her. We're doing an alright job of it so far. We got through the first phase. No, I finally hit myself. I do have some bombs to use, but honestly, I think using them is going to get me in just as much trouble. Because I can't really push them. I don't have any knockback on my tears anymore, so... But either way, even if we do die, this has been a fun run nonetheless. And this character's pretty cool. Okay, we're on last phase, but as I said, not confident. Although I will say last phase can be one of the easier ones depending on the attacks that Isaac decides to do. Come on, do the attack you know you you know I want you to do. Hey, this is the one. This attack's easy peasy. There you go. We did it. We just about managed it. We eked out a victory. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.